I design editor collection as a set of time-saving tools for DaVinci Resolve. This update continues to deliver on that promise. But it doesn't stop there. A tool can save you time, but so can copying and pasting the same basic effect. I've added even more customization and control across the board, allowing the tools to create unique looks and keep up with your creativity. In summary, the update includes two new tools. One, to create custom grid layouts with up to six inputs and 40 pre-made grid layouts. Plus, you can animate them with just one click. There is even a light version in Editor Collection Lite, so you can try it out for free. The second tool allows you to easily work with 360 photos and videos on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Previously, you had to go to Fusion, and that process wasn't easy. In addition to all of these new tools, I've also redesigned most of the original plugins from Editor Collection, so your favorite tool probably just got way better. If so, let me know down in the comments below. The first thing I did was redesign my animation framework, and then package it all together into the Anim Engine. The new system renders way faster and allows for much more customization, especially in the tools like Whip Animate and Whip Text. In Whip Animate, you now have the option for global or individual animations with their own settings and timings. I've also added many more options for middle animations, including loops, offsets, better camera shake, and much more. And the best part is, is that it still renders significantly faster than the old version of Whip Animate. To help with the continuity between the plugins and to add more control, I made the Whip Text interface look like Whip Animate, but with the Anim Engine built in. There's also more control over rotation, allowing you to change it on the global, word, and character level. And of course, just like last time, you can still enable the follower modifier with just a single click. Whip Background has some awesome performance upgrades and a few new features. Whip Chapter now allows for up to 16 inputs on any side of the screen. And again, it'll render faster. Like I hinted at at the beginning of the video, the biggest goal of editor collection is to save time. And that's why I'm mentioning the huge performance increases. For most people, editor collection is going to pay for itself in just a matter of weeks with the amount of time that it saves you. In fact, all of the animations and graphics inside of this video were made using the editor collection. Whip Highlight has been updated so it now has up to four highlight windows and a brand new auto pivot selector. Whip Cam, Name, Zoom, Pivot, and Shake all have cleaner UIs with Anim Engine and faster performance. I've renamed Whip Highlighter to Whip Marker because I kept getting it confused with Whip Highlight. So that was annoying me, so I renamed it. And now it has much more customization with the ability to add a marker tip for more style. Finally, Whip Panel now has more text layouts built in. So that way you can get a better result without having to go to the Fusion page. To update to the new version of the pack, simply log into your account on my website and download it from there. Then you can just overwrite the old version. The walkthroughs and tutorials have all been updated on my website, so make sure to look at those as well. If you haven't already bought Editor Collection, I'd highly recommend investing. Like I said, it can easily pay for itself with the amount of time that it saves you, while also adding some professionalism to your videos. So check it out at the link down below, or download the light version to give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think about the update, and have fun editing.